Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. A lot of you seem to like the wiring diagram we did for the boat. Thank you for that. But spring is coming and we'll add a little modification to it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. With this wiring diagram, when you set your key to the off position, you still need to use your kill switch to turn off the engine. Today we're going to try to change that by adding a relay. Once again, I'll try to make it as simple as possible. We'll start by eliminating all the wires we don't need to see right now. We'll try to keep only the ignition part of the wiring diagram. It will be much easier and simpler to understand the diagram this way. So for the engine to shut off when we set the key on the off position, we need to add a 5 pin 40 or 30 amp relay it's a regular car relay or an ATV relay. Let me explain a bit how a relay works. So this relay by default, the pin 30 and 87A are connected when no power is going through the relay. When you add power to the relay, pin 30 and 87 will automatically connect. So as soon as you add power, the switch will change to pin 87. Okay, let's start connecting one wire at a time so we can have this working. You can pause this video at any time. We'll want to get the power off the ignition fuse box and connect it to pin 85 of the relay. This is done with wire 30 that we see in the diagram. Basically, this will bring power to the relay once you turn your key on the ignition position. Now let's not forget to ground it so it completes the circuit. Let's add the wire 31 so this will connect pin 86 of the relay to the ground of the fuse box. Now the circuit is complete. I will show you a visual example later in the video. But for now, as soon as you turn your key to the ignition position, the relay will connect pin 30 and 87 together. So 87A will now be open when key is on ignition position. Might be a little confusing for now, but if you wait for the visual aid, it will make everything much easier to understand. We have to go get the kill switch wire from the engine, usually a black wire with a yellow stripe on it, and connect it to pin 30 of the relay. So this is the wire 32 that we see in the wiring diagram. Now we need to connect from the relay pin 87A to ground. We see this is done with the wire 33 in the diagram. Basically, when the kill switch wire connects to ground, that will shut off your engine. So here's the part where I add the visual aid. As we can see, the key is green and it's on the off position. So pin 30 and 87A from the relay are connected. The engine cannot start since the kill switch is on. Don't forget, even though you try with your pole rope, it still won't start. Your kill switch is now automatically activated. With this relay installed, every time you want to start your engine, even if it's with the pull rope, your key needs to be on ignition position. Now, when we turn our key on the ignition position, the relay will switch to pin 30 to 87. So now your kill switch circuit is open, your engine is ready to start. At this point, you could start your engine by turning the key just like a car, or by pulling the pull rope. With this setup, as soon as you put your key on the off position, it will automatically shut off your engine, just like a car. I hope this has helped you to understand how a relay works. If you have anything you would like to add to the circuit, please let me know and we'll work on it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'll do my best to help. Thank you for watching and have a great season.